Amid a global upswing in mental health concerns among young people, two of the candidates of the Singapore presidential election have emphasized the need for heightened awareness and support for the well-being of the youth. In Kope Song and Kamen Shamugaram was responding to recorded questions posed by young Singaporeans during the Straits Times Ask the Next President Anything session on Sunday, August 27. The issues addressed spanned a broad spectrum, reflecting the diverse concerns of Singapore's youth. The candidates delved into the president's role as a figurehead and strategies to combat corruption within the political sphere. A notable absentee was the third presidential candidate, former NTUC Income Chief Executive Tan Kin Lian, who declined participation. Here are the four key takeaways from the session. One question revolved around the pressing issue of mental health among young individuals. Zheng Yu, 22, asked, With the rising mental health issues among the youth, what can the future president do to address those issues? Thaman responded by advocating for recalibrating societal attitudes to reduce stress on both children and parents and encouraging a more balanced approach to education that encompasses leisure and play. I think the first thing we have to do, both for parents and kids, is don't be so stressed when the kids are young. Don't stress the kids out. Give them time to play, give them free time. Don't spend so much time preparing for examinations, the 66-year-old former senior minister said. The whole system has to help. The government is making changes in the education system to distress the system. I think parents and kids have to realize that life is a long game. You may not be number one or even number five in school, but life is a long game. You can keep learning and keep improving. So when we are young, we've got to broaden ourselves, have a range of enjoyable experiences, make friends, and don't let stress build up in our system. I believe that's very important. Ying also noted the detrimental effects of societal pressures amplified by social media. He highlighted meditation and mindfulness as tools in fostering self-assurance and authenticity. The 75-year-old former GIC chief investment officer said, mental health issues arise when our youth feel that they have to conform they have to comply, they have to perform to the expectations of their parents, their teachers and their peers. I think social media has a lot of advantages, but it also has the downside of requiring our youth to appear good in the eyes of their peers. I have discovered from my own experience to let go of images that I would like to portray to other people. So it's very important for all our children and youth to have confidence in themselves. Beyond addressing the discourse on mental health, the candidates delve into more systemic concerns, including political corruption. A 37-year-old man named Hoja asked how they would handle a situation like corruption by our politicians. This follows a series of recent events including the arrest of Transport Minister S. Iswaran in a corruption probe. Home Affairs and Law Minister K. Shanmugam and Foreign Minister Vivian Balakrishnan were also acquitted of corruption allegations concerning the rental of two state-owned bungalows. In highlighted the unique role of the elected president in combating corruption, particularly in matters related to the misuse of reserves and appointments influenced by personal connections. He asserted, the elected president was specially designed to deal with the problem of possible corruption among our politicians. So, if I come across a situation where I suspect corruption in the spending of our reserves, or when I suspect corruption in appointing untrustworthy people to key public service positions, I would object. I would exercise my veto. Thurman likened corruption to cancer stressing the necessity of early intervention. He mentioned, we must be a special country where zero corruption is the order of the day. And that involves the Prime Minister. 
and it involves the president. So the president has to be especially sensitive to any indiscretion that involves personal gain by politicians. No prime minister has ever denied a request by the director of CPIBE for an investigation. But you never know in future. The president is always there. Clara, 33, asked during the ST session, some people say that the president is just a figurehead. What are your views on that? Thurman said the president does have executive powers on certain issues. They are not minor powers, they are major powers to do with the reserves, to do with the appointment of key public officials. It helps greatly if the president has independence of mind, has the knowledge and the ability to stand his ground. Those are three very important requirements, independence of mind, knowledge and expertise and being able to stand your ground. It's critical. In concrete, saying that the elected president of Singapore is more than just a figurehead. The elected president in Singapore is very special because of two key responsibilities as the president. First, to protect our hard-earned financial reserves. Make sure that the reserves that we have accumulated over a long period of time are not misspent or squandered. I don't think any other president or head of state in other countries have got this responsibility. He explained. The second important and unusual role of the elected president in Singapore is to uphold the integrity of the public service. This is also a very unique responsibility of our president. Danny, age 34, asked, President Halima Yoko and President S. R. Nathan had different personalities and leadership styles. If you were elected as the next president of Singapore, what can we Singaporeans expect from you, our ninth president of the nation? Ing said he wants to be known as a compassionate president. He said, I want to be known as the meditating president because meditation has helped me become peaceful, more energetic, more sympathetic to the interests of all Singaporeans, especially the younger generation and low-income Singaporeans. So I feel that as president, I would like the people of Singapore to know I will be their friend. A friend at the Astana. I would be a unifying figure for all the people of Singapore because I'm a non-partisan president. Thurman stated that he will be a president who actively promotes a culture of respect for every Singaporean. I'm a president who, because of my experience, would never be fooled on any matter to do with the reserves or on governance. I can never be fooled on the matter. Finally, I'll be a president with a heart for every disadvantaged group, respect everyone. Never look down on anyone, he said.